Hi, welcome back to Homeschool Together. And today we're gonna to take a look at Blossom and Root's Early Elementary Nature Study Level Zero, which is for kindergarten. This is the My Outdoor Classroom Curriculum. It's 36 weeks, it's incredibly gentle and fun and very accessible. It's affordable at $19, coupled with the integrated science with math um, bundle PDF. So overall, this gets our recommendation because it's really easy to adapt depending on your seasons. It's quite affordable. It's a lot of fun. As with all Blossom and Root products, it's very gentle. So overall, we think that this is a great introduction nature study for your early elementary learner. So let's dive in and take a closer look. So when you purchase this curriculum, you will receive the Outdoor Classroom Parent Guide, and then you'll also receive the Student Notebook. So first, let's go over the Parent Guide and just take a look at what we've got here. So this is all about, as it says here, it's all about exploring animals, seeds, and eggs. So really easy, gentle introduction to doing nature studies with your learner. So each week is broken out basically the same of this 36-week school year. So um, days one through three, you're going to spend a few minutes reading the nature lore chapter, and there's a couple of books here that we'll talk about. You're going to read that out loud, and then you can spend some time watching the videos or doing uh, supplemental books. On the fourth day, you're going to spend at least 15 minutes uh, doing the week's nature study activity outside. So the activity is only 15 minutes long, long, but you could spend more time outside if you want to or extend the activity. And then on day five, you're going to spend about 10 minutes completing the nature notebook entry. So not a lot of work uh, corresponding with this. Talks with you about how to plan it. Um, this is what you're going to be learning with your child. So you can kind of take a look. It's basically learning about animal families, adaptations, how they prepare for winter, and then a bunch of different animals depending on the time of year. I think it was really important to remember about this because it is a nature curriculum. It is based in the fact that you would start in the fall and then end in the late spring, summer. You can, of course, change that. You could go ahead and do the first few weeks talking about animal families, adaptations, communication, and then you know skip down to some other uh, wherever you are in the year, so you don't have to go right into like how animals prepare for winter. Example, for example, you could you know switch things up and go differently, and it's not going to affect the curriculum. So this is your um, the basic outline of how Blossom and Root likes to make this nature curriculum is that you're going to be inspiring them with this nature lore chapter and then you're going to be exploring and then you're going to be recording. So that's kind of the basic steps. There's some supplemental books and things listed. Yeah, here's her permission to go off grid. Please follow the rabbit trails. The full lesson plan contents of all the weeks that you're going to be studying. So here's the book list. So the nature lore is two main books. It's going to be the the Burgess Animal Book for Children, which is actually open source now, so it's available for free in PDF from Project Gutenberg. And then Seed Babies also is, um, and it's available here at this digital library. So she gives you the links here, so you don't need to purchase the main books. There are some supplemental books, and I'll show you a couple of them before we end here today, so you can take a look at what those look like. Um, but those are totally optional. So really easy, you don't even need to purchase the books, which is great. And then for each week, she has optional books that you could get from your library that go with what we're studying that week. So if you're gonna be talking about, uh, this week it's chipmunks, there's groundhogs one week, there's rabbits another week, bats. So you can find what you're studying that week and then you can use this as a handy little list to go to the library and get those extra books if your child is a, uh, a book, a book child like ours are. So uh, they love their stories. So the supplies here, what I love is that she lists for the entire thing what the supplies are and they're really easy. I mean, I think the most difficult thing is getting some flower seeds, but most of this you're going to have at home anyways. So that's very easy. And then it uh, goes into the first few weeks here. This is North American Mammals with this book that we talked about that's available for free. So let's just go over uh, the first two weeks. These are available in the, in the sample that you can download if you'd like to take a closer look yourself. So basically here's the nature lore. So this is a, a Peter Rabbit story. And then go outside with your child and explore the area that will be your outdoor classroom for the whole next year. So that could be your backyard. It could be a local park or a field or a pond near your house or someplace that you love to take walks. That's going to be their outdoor classroom space. So you're going to 
be exploring it. This needs to be someplace that you can easily visit most weeks, that your child can play freely. This is their new space. And then the uh, nature notebook, the nature notebook entry for this week is just making a picture of your outdoor space. So really simple. Here's some supplemental books that you can read that are basically just outdoor enthusiasm type books, going on hikes and camping and um, exploring, that kind of thing. Uh, no videos for this week. And there are a few photographs here at the end that they have of the rabbit and the wren. And I think I might have those printed, yes. So at the back, and you can go ahead. What I did when I did this curriculum with my daughter is I went ahead and took these pages from the back and interspersed them so that I could find them. Um, but there's these nice big color photographs so you can see the animals that are discussed in the Burgess Animal Book. So that's really great. So that'd be your whole first week. Um, the second week's got a few more things going on. You're going to read another Peter Rabbit story. You're going to talk about observing prey adaptations. Uh, do a nature notebook comparing what they learned about hares versus rabbits in the nature lore and discuss um, and what you discuss during your talk about prey adaptation. So they're going to fill out their little nature notebook. Here's a few extra pages from some of these books and there's some great PBS videos. One of the things that Blossom and Root is fantastic about is their videos are terrific. They are great. They're the right length. Um, they're just very high quality. I love that she includes these videos because they're always just great choices. And then again, there's some more photographs at the end that you can look at. So that's it. That's all that you do for the week. You read the story, you have a little discussion about it. Um, you go outside and you do uh, an activity. Like in the second week, you're going to be you're going to be going outside and talking about how you would, if you were a prey, how you would escape a predator. How would you defend yourself? Um, so. It's, it's things like that. So it's just, it's really fun, very easy. You can adapt it however you want. If you want to do a different type of activity, if you want to maybe role play that animal, you could certainly do that. Um, really gentle, doesn't take a lot of time. So if you're looking for a way to get your child out more, I think this is great start to it. So let's take a look at the uh, student notebook so you can see what's involved there. So it's really easy. It's just a place for you to draw. And this is, the, this is that first week we talked about the outdoor classroom. The second week, drawing pictures, or you could paste pictures if your student doesn't want to do art, about the rabbit and the hare, and then talking about their differences. A few ideas. So really easy, nice uh, large lines. And when our child did this, she was in kindergarten, so we, we scribed for her. So you can definitely do that. But these are good pages. Not a lot of work here, but a nice keepsake that you can have at the end of your year. Uh, from your outdoor classroom. And then I wanted to take a look at a couple of the alternate spines that she calls in because these are also fantastic supplemental books. She uses a lot of DK Smithsonian books, which are some of our favorites just because of how visual they are. So this is Our World in Pictures, Trees, Leaves, Flowers, and Seeds. Oh, this is one close to our heart. We have lots of ferns in the Pacific Northwest. So uh, great to really investigate different types. This is all about ferns. So just fabulous pictures. Um, you can really deep dive into different areas. And this is a, this is a book that I think is a great investment uh, because this is a book that we as adults like to listen, like to look at. And it just gives lots of great, great information. This is not, you know, exclusively an early elementary book. Obviously there's lots in here. So Really great book with lots of wonderful information that we have used for the last few years. And then the other one that she uses is this fantastic book, Animal, <laughs> from DK Smithsonian. And this again has just fantastic pictures. Oh, oh, that was a little scary. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh, gosh, I, I keep turning to, you know what? <laughs> Everything has, okay, here we go. <laughs> Everything was dangerous. Um, there's sharp teeth with everything and hopefully this isn't a poisonous tree frog. Um, so anyway, these are just beautiful pictures as you can see, really engaging. Uh, let's see, let's get towards reptiles. Here's birds. Fantastic pictures. Uh, our, our daughters just love to just look through these books and it's nice because it gives each page gives an overview of uh, a type of animal and then dif the differences of the different, um, types of that, so different types of penguins and things. So 
really great, lots of great pictures. So there's a few supplemental books like this that I think she calls out, and these are a wonderful investment for your homeschool. So that's it, that's the whole program. Um, and these books, like we said, are great, and I think a good pickup, uh, not just to get from your library, but to have in your, in your permanent homeschool library. So that's the overall program for Blossom and Roots Nature Study Level Zero. Overall, it's totally affordable, easily adaptable. It's a very gentle introduction. So if that sounds like you, if you wanna get yourself and your kids out more, it's a great start to it. This is not for someone who wants an intensive science program, uh, or intensive um, outdoor nature study. This is just really gentle, but it's perfect for kindergarten. We're not asking too much. We're getting them to explore the world around them. I think that it, totally meets the mission for that. Uh, so we definitely recommend this and we hope that this review was helpful to you. Now, as we said, this is bundled for $19 with the uh, science with integrated math, which is Space Science K. We're gonna do a separate review video on that because uh, we wanna show you all the goodies that are there too. It's another one that we love. So stay tuned for that video, but overall we hope this was helpful for you on your homeschool journey.